Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's Fennex here, and today we're just going to be doing some. I suppose you could say it's like constructive work. Uh, I'm just going to make the place look a bit nicer. So, this is the Minecraft series. I hope you guys haven't forgotten about it. Um, I'm using a different texture pack, which you guys will have noticed for them who are um, regular viewers. Our wheat is almost complete, so we'll be collecting a lot of that. The next um, collection. We'll have enough to fill the entire um, the entire area with wheat, which is cool. And don't mind that up there. It's um, I was gonna build an extension, and then I was gonna plant a tree and grow the tree up and kind of build um, well, I guess a tree house in the sky. Um, I think that might be another project. Not sure yet. And what I want to do is I want to break all these now I do have a hole so I can hold these back and the reason I'm doing this is because if you guys I don't well you won't know but what I'm what I plan on doing is a surprise I will show you soon I just want to get all these before it gets too dark now of course it does involve pumpkins they might be asking yourself well what could that involve? Well, I don't know. Think pumpkins. And the good thing is, these keep um, spawning because some are ready and some aren't, but the others can't spawn until everything's um, been moved out of the way. So I'm going to go sleep because it's getting dark. And I have tons of dogs. I feel like Caesar Milan, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to keep breeding dogs and just make loads of them and then just go around and just keep killing monsters get lots of XP and then I'll be able to enchant my weapons with such high enchants it's going to be ridiculous just like the spawn rate on these um, pumpkins ridiculous so as you see um, this area was pretty bland but I thought that to make it interesting I would plant some pumpkin seeds because I need a lot of them and it's very weird how they grow because like two can grow into one I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way bloody hell that just spawned on me I want to be sure not to destroy pumpkins like I just well the um the root I suppose and I need lots of pumpkins so I'm making lots of pumpkins now, I want to go to the nether, um, I'm not sure if it's a bit risky because this is um, hardcore mode, but if we don't adventure um, to different areas and whatnot, it's just going to be boring. So, what I'd like you guys to do, if you would, is tell me how to make the portal to go to the nether. Of course I could do it myself, I could just go on YouTube right now and search it, but I don't want to, I want some interaction with you guys. Um, so if you would be so kind to just let me know that would be awesome and I can't do well kill these fast enough because they just keep spawning which is good and we need lots of pumpkins I think we're gonna need other 500 pumpkins and you might be thinking wow 500 pumpkins yep 500 pumpkins maybe more and it will be it will come apparent very soon once I collect all the pumpkins which could take forever because they do respawn ridiculously fast right that's it let's get out of here before I mine anymore right so I'm gonna eat some bread and then I'm going to so we've got 40 pumpkins and I've made 40 jack o lanterns <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is jump up, well, fail jumping over that, and let's see, we'll go to one of the highest points which is over here, Now you guys might know already what I'm doing, but for them who don't, then hold your horses, because this is what we're going to be doing. Check our lanterns. That's 
annoying. Because I'm going to have to do it a really weird way. And that is... Yeah, there we go. So we're going to enclose the top half, well, should, yeah, the top of our wall in jack-o'-lanterns. So it's going to be very shiny and very bright to look at. So in the midst of the darkness, we will still find it, which is awesome. And I've never seen anything done like this before. Um, so it looks good. I like it. But as you, as you can see, we've used 40. And we haven't even really scratched the surface because this is how far the actual wall extends. All this way. Now, just think about it. How far this wall is extending. How many pumpkins we would actually need. I think that's way over 500. Now, I need to level out this wall. So I will do that now. Because I want to keep it all the same level. And that involves either taking out this little section or adding more to the rest of it. The reason I added more to this side was because obviously the, the grassy hillside um, to the left. It's basically, um, pit monsters would be able to jump into my encampment. But I think because it's so high, it would take a lot of damage. So I think that's okay to be honest. We could easily kill them anyway. But like here, um, you won't be able to see it when the jack o' lantern's on, but I like to keep it all in uh, proportion. The best I can. <laughs> now I do have a diamond pickaxe, but because diamonds are so scarce in Minecraft for me, um, I'm not going to use it. As you can see, I've got an enchanted um, diamond axe there, which is for wood. So I'll be chopping down wood with that. And I'm, I'm sure I've got other ones. I don't know. I might have used it. But I know I had two diamond pickaxes. I think I might have combined it together to kind of try to repair. It's a shame that they haven't added, um, what you call it, an actual blacksmith in Minecraft to repair tools. Because diamonds being so scarce as they are, it would be nice if it took like, I don't know, um, 50 iron to, to repair it, even though it's a diamond. Uh, I don't know how that would work, but maybe you could smelt summer into diamonds. Gold and iron make diamond. I have no idea. Um, obviously, that's not real life um, things because everyone would have diamonds then, but still, something to make diamonds would be awesome. Or maybe the monsters could drop them. That would be um, awesome as well, actually. But, I mean, they are still adding new stuff to Minecraft, which is really good. It keeps the game quite fresh. And with the amount of add-ons now for the game, it's really cool. A lot of people can just make add-ons um, from existing add-ons, or they can just make their own from scratch. And it just gives a, a lot of variation to the game. Now, I think in my next Minecraft series, um, I will be using add-ons as a source of entertainment. Because at the minute... Everything I do in these series is based on just Minecraft and nothing else. And by that I mean I just use Minecraft, no add-ons. The only thing that I change is the texture pack because the default Minecraft is ugly as hell. Now the texture pack I'm using right now is John Smith's texture pack. Now I thought it was outdated but it actually still works. I just have to use the, um, what's it called? The HD patcher. To actually enable me to use it. Which is cool. So now we know this wall is a little shy. Like so. We will just build it up all the way around. So everything is even. Even Steven. So let's get to it. Because it's getting pretty dark soon. And I've, again I'm going to have to break through this like so. I know people probably won't see it, but I know it's there, so I'd like to do it. There we go. Now, is all that even? No, so we're going to have to do one layer on this back end, which 
is a little annoying, but I like things to be done properly. I like everything to be even or done in in a sense that it looks good. Now, for me, if if it's uneven, then it's not going to look good. So I'd I'd rather just make it all even, and then I'd be happy. So I'm just going to dig all the way through all this, and then it'll be a lot faster. There we go. So we did reach to the other end of it, which is good. And I'm not going to dig any more out because we don't need to. As long as that's good. And I like these trees. Make it all look nice. And of course there's a hole there. So let me fill in that. There we go. Got a lot of animals down there. And ooh, jump over there. And that's good. So let me eat a bit more. Now I know there was um, a mod um, that give gives you water, I think it is. Um, so it's, with food, you get water as well. I thought that would have been actually implemented into the actual game. Because of course, Minecraft has lots of water. But you don't actually use it for anything but, well, decoration, I suppose. So it would be nice to for, for them to add specific things such as sinks, uh, maybe a bathtub. Um, and you, obviously you have a dirty meter, so if you get really dirty, you start to get sick, you start to lose health. Them things would actually be realistic to Minecraft, or should I should say to the Minecraft scenario. Because of course, if you get dirty and you don't wash yourself, you're going to get sick because you are so dirty. All the germs and bacteria is going to build up and eventually you will die. So, I think that that's quite realistic to be honest. It's more realistic than some of the stuff they added to Minecraft. I mean, the hunger bar was excellent addition. Um, I think they should add water and then they should add um, objects that interact with water, such as baths, sinks, toilet. You know, you should have a bladder if you, um, well, if you don't go to the toilet regularly, then you're going to piss yourself or shit yourself, and then you're going to get um, extremely dirty if you don't bath yourself, and then you're going to die because you're so dirty, and you'll die at a higher rate because, of course, you, you're extremely dirty. Um, so, yeah, something like that, I think, would be awesome. Now, I've got doggies here. Now, before we finish this episode, let's look, look at the faces. Ooh, hello. No. Now I'm gonna. I need to um, right-click them all so they actually follow me. If I don't, oh, they're all running upstairs. So I need to get the meat out, and they'll all. Co oh, see, guys, what are you doing up there? So let's. Make some babies. Some babies. Come back. I want to give you babies. Oh my god, there's so many babies. Don't eat me. <laughs> and there's so many dogs. Oh my god. <laughs> Come back, you. I know you want some loving. There's got to be one more. Oh, I've used all my meat. No. Right. Make all these sit. 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 Good dog. Sit. You sit. Sit. Shit. 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 Sit. <laughs> you sit. You, you, you sit. Stop trying to hump. You sit. Right, and what I had to do before is I had to block up this hole. Not like that, but like that. Because they get a wee bit excited and they start running into holes and dying. Now, I'm sure a doggy went up here. Let's go find it. No, he didn't. He actually came downstairs, which we're good. Okay, so that's good. Let's go to sleep. And we'll end this episode here, guys. So thank you for watching. Um... And there will be a World of Warcraft video up soon. I'm just having issues with the beta at the minute. World server down happens every, God, every five minutes. It's annoying. Um, so that will be out soon, I promise. And thank you for watching this episode of Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And 
Uh, if you've got any suggestions, please leave them in a form of a comment. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.